Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Hello. Um, this is a bonus episode, and, and it's um, it's not for. Okay, you could say it's part of the let's play, but the let's play ended at episode 80. The the last episode was the final one. But let's let's just say this is a bonus thing. So, uh, as promised, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to show you how to get uh, the lost. Uh, actually, how to get the cars, uh, the lo uh, the two special cars. I'm talking about the mines skyline, which I want to get, and the Fiat Punto rally, plus some cash. Uh, for this, we have to enter special car round and Kaido Championship. Special car round, I need to be in the third week. Oh no, first I can get the Kaido Championship. Clear, Sunday. Oh wait. Okay, go pass. Okay, it has to be Sunday. Oh. Okay, this is... Go night time. Let's hope. Okay, an FL type. Race uh, open to all cars to determine the number one Kaido racer. Like you see, oh wait, sorry. Uh, and as you can see here, we have 1.5 million credits uh, if we get into first place. Oh, it's an FL type. Yes! Oh wait, FL. Uh, whatever, it's FL LF. I'm, I'm fine with it. And car Fiat Punto Rally to determine number one Kaido racer. Okay. Let's see the requirements. So, Motaro, Mikiri, Domine, Kintani, Hamokahara, Miyogi, Usui, Hokkaido. Category race? It's a master race, right? Master race! Yes, it's a master race. Kaido Championship. Of course. Select the race you want to. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna use the GTR. I've learned my lesson. The GTR is... Uh, no, I'm gonna use the Lancer. Because it's already tuned for this, so... I should have bought a rally car. But... Uh, okay. Oh, Impreza vs Evo. Nice. Oh wait, LF? Oh, it's an FL. Oh yes, my favorite. Hello, boy. Oh, you. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, you little get down. That's right. Okay. Let's not forget I don't have racing tires on. But I have the last of it. One squeeze, you stupid. Okay, concentration. This is Hokkaido we're talking about. say he messed it up but now oh uh, look at that cornering yes that was that was a rally car okay I will not raise myself anymore
How about that? Who is number one on Kaido? Me. And as a result, I get a Fiat Punta Rally car. Nice. Special Fiat Punta Rally acquired. And 1.5 million. Yes. Very good. So, this is the first car we got. We were planning to get. Yeah, we were planning to get, so in the next one, I have to wait until the third week. And I should and rainy. And it is in and it's Shigakusatsu we're talking okay. We're talking about Shigakusatsu. So where is this is the MC no the not the MC arm and no just okay Honda I'm gonna hop in my trusty GTR our Sansan GTR for those of you who don't know um, I'm gonna buy some, wait I'm gonna check the used car dealer I want to see if oh NMR2 IRV huh what is this IRV Legacy S401, oh, nice. Prelude SIV deck, nice. Sky and GTST, okay. Uh, the body kit, I like the body kit. It reminds you of a side number plate. Uh, it, re it reminds you of an R32, but it's not an R32 because it has its uh, GTST. It's a 2 liter turbocharged rear wheel drive Skyline. And it has a decent amount, has a decent amount of power. All of you out there who want more, po want more power in their car, don't. Just why? I don't understand the horsepower wars or whatever it's called. Why should you have more than 100 to 200 horsepower? I mean, in a in a car that you drive daily, in a daily driven car, 100 horsepower seems enough. At least for me. Oh. Wait a second. Okay, something did. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, something did happen, but uh, okay, forget about it. Forget about it. Mm, so we have the R6. Okay, a Mazda 2. I use this to emulate. The focus because we don't have the we don't have the actually we don't have forwards in this game but it can okay we don't have forwards in this game but in Tokyo Stream Racer 3 in Kaido Battle 2 Chain Reaction and I think in Tokyo Stream Racer Drift 1 I think it was a Japanese release or actually no older releases I know for a fact but that in Kaido Battle 2 chain reaction we had Fords and we had the Focus RS. Well, it's a Focus, so it could okay, it could have very okay, it could have been I don't know the ST170, and I still I would, and I was still content with that. I was still pleased with that, but no, use the RS. The RS is a rare car, okay. I don't remember the exact number uh, I know but l lace uh, no actually less than 5,000 were made I think no or more than three less than 50,000 I don't remember it's a rare car okay not that rare but uncommon let's call it uncommon okay so let's say this is a Ford for now it's more like a fiesta, but okay. And a special C lady. Hmm. Or a carbon hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could, I could buy it, painted it in blue, painted it blue, and slap some gold rims on and put a duck tail on. But eh. I was, I will. That's just something that everybody had done. So meh. Uh, buy. As you can see, this car is okay. Uh, because we have, we'll have a rain battle, or something. 
Oh, like with spike? No, spike tires. No. Wait, what? I bought spike tires. No, wet tires. I'm stupid. Equip front and rear. Yeah. I I know for a fact that I don't didn't bought. Wait, what? Ah, sticky is that acting up? Should have used this one. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Mysterious shop. I already have all the dolls. Okay, garage. Um. Oh wait, I wanna see how. Okay, two thousand three hundred seventy-one. Oh, I thought I would. I had three thousand for some reason. No doll. Rainy doll. Rainy doll was placed. So now. Okay, Samurai Evolution. What am I? Kamikaze Evolution, Samurai Evolution, you'll be best post. I'm gonna read that later. Now I have to do this. Until I reach third week. This is second week. Okay. Where is No, not that sponsors. I already have enough sponsors. I look look at the amount of cash. Look at that amount. Look at look at the amount of cash I have. Look at this. Nine? It's too much. Right. You earn a total of six million two hundred seventy five thousand credits from your sponsor contracts okay and wait okay so make garage no Saturday and blitz evolution and Wait, what? But it's Monday. It's the third week. What? Wait, what? The info is wrong. Oh. Oh, Sunday, third week. Okay. Silly me. Mm. So use K. Okay. So use this thing on Wednesday. Go on. The turbo thing. Okay, the emulator's turbo button <laughs> is a neat little trick to skip loading times and whatnot. Oh, an FL type race limited to special category cars. Mine Skyline and 500,000 credits. Special car round open. Okay, so now we're gonna go garage, no, garage, and we'll, we will check the BBS messages. Be free. Uh, what's going on? All of a sudden, my fangs are banging me, me. Wait, what? What gives? Uh, I don't know. You hit some walls. Highway racing is all about rhythm. Rhythm, 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 rhythm. Whatever. Keep the rhythm while you drive, and it will carry you around the corners. What is this? Aladdin? Aladdin? Magic carpets and all that. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> My boss is yelling at me. I go out battling almost every night now. And during the day, I'm so, so sleepy. Maybe you should cut back. <laughs> nice. Uh, maybe you should cut back, yeah. Okay, now... Oh, it's a special car. Ah! Okay, so garage. Let's see ours. Okay, special cars. This is not special. Special HKSL Desi special. 
HK, HKS Sylvie special, MCR GTR special, Punta Rally special, you know what? No. Okay, the car that I will use, of course, is go it's gonna be the MCR GTR. Because it handles almost the same. Okay, not Hokkaido, not also Zao, Niko Shirokusatsu. Category race. And on top of that, I like the idea of using a skyline to win another skyline. Oh look, and even <laughs> even the poster says, yeah, use the MCR one. My skyline, CXP, whatever. Entry. And we shift assist now. And I don't have wet tires on. I don't have wet tires on. Oh my god, this will be this will be on. Wait, what? Is that a Garaya? Oh, apparently I do. No, I don't. I. I, I, I Garaya, please. Garaya, please. You have. You just have an SR20 or something in, in you. I have an RB26. Or, no, actually, an RB28. I did some research. Nope. Get down. Shio Kusato is mine. Oi. Was that really necessary? I can barely ho keep the car straight. Oh, that was sweet. Point four nine. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this corner is tricky. At least for me. And apparently, I have enough grip to. Ha ha ha. That's right. Even that guy sucks score. Head court. Yeah. Yankees AI. Straight line, good. Uh, corners, bad. Extremely bad. The rare thing is I can't outrun Garaya. Because Garayas are good in this game. I do have a Garaya. I should have used a Garaya. No. I can't use a Garaya because it's not a special car. Whoop whoop. But, it's, but I see Lady is a special car. Used car. Dealer car is a special car. Google used uh, too, one too many car words. Car, car, car. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, you think you Oh you think you're good in, in your little MR, huh? Little MR. You cannot You cannot comprehend the MCR skyline. Yeah, that's right. And this is how you get this thing. The mines skyline. Wait. So is this supposed to be better than the MCR skyline or worse? I don't know. But I got Uh, Special Minds Skyline BNR34 acquired. So, this is how you get those cars. Okay. And as um, as a bonus, ha ha, because it's the bonus round part, whatever. I'm gonna drive. Se uh, these cars. So, change car. Where is it? Mine's Skyline. No. First, I'm gonna drive this Punto. Okay, 11, 11 and a half million credits for Punto. 
Well, it's a rally punto, so... You know what? I'm gonna drive it on Hokkaido. What? Rain? Yeah, no. Rainy doll was removed. Okay. Okay, so apparently it's Saturday, not Sunday. Huh. So the so that thing, so the, uh, the special car um, battle was on Saturday, not on Sunday. Huh. Sometimes uh, this thing will. Okay, so practice TA attack or time attack. Let's use a small section. Wait, what? The whole car shakes. It feels like a CRX. <laughs> it feels just like the CRX. Or basically any front wheel drive car. In this game. Yep, totally feels like a CRX, not a rally car. Even the speed is the same as the CRX. The only thing that I... Okay, the only huge difference is that this car is more focused on the acceleration part. Like any other car. Like almost any other rival car in this game. Why? Why you're focusing on, on acceleration? Okay, I get it, acceleration is good, but you have to have some top speed. Ah. I need a co-pilot. I don't know this medium right medium right and finish yeah uh, something like that not retry reverse I want to see what's back there Okay. I want to test the speed in reverse. 66 kilometers per hour in reverse. Oh yes. Ah. Yeah, I did this. Medium right. Straight. Caution. Hard right. Caution, hard right. No. Hard left. Caution. Easy left. Easy right. Straight. Easy right. Medium right, uh, medium left. Go, motion jump, straight. Medium right. Medium.
medium right. Ooh. Easy right, straight. I'm sorry. Easy right. Easy left. Easy right. Medium left. Hard right. Easy left. Easy left. Easy right. And finish. Oh, that worked. That worked out well, right? Yeah. Apart from the fact that I'm not a good co pilot. I said left instead of right and right instead of left. Nice. Okay, so we're done with this thing. Okay, so no more Hokkaido for us. Oh, finally. And now we're gonna, gonna ride these beasts called the MCR Skyrain. Oh no, uh, Mine Skyline. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, Zor also. Zor because reasons. Category race, no practice. Time attack. Mm. Zao is already long, so three kilometers should be enough. Okay, no more co pilot for me because time attack. Brakes are a bit better. Doesn't like. Okay. Whoa, Underseer. Okay. This thing doesn't react too well to braking. Wait, no, actually, I forgot how to. Zao. <laughs> How's the drive on Zao? Oh. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I like the MCR better. The MCR is... No, actually, I, I got too used to it. This is still an unknown territory for me. In a hairpin, you have to shift into first. It feels like a normal stock skyline. It feels like a stock R44, which is weird. Oi. Definitely fast. Oh, come on. So these are the cars that we unlocked. And I just remembered something. So, shop. Uh, let's look at the new car dealer now. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, we have okay, we we unlocked the ASL ASL Garaya. Garaya, okay, Garaya. Stop it. 
Garaya, please. Wait, so actually the chassis code is Garaya. Nice. Or maybe they don't want to disclose the chassis code. Midget. I need to make this into a I need to Okay. This should be painted in it should be pink. Hmm. Uh so the midget, the Myra. The Myra A V Y or A V R S. The Copen. And the Storia X4. Nice. Honda. Honda! VTQ Club. Okay, uh Honda Beat. Honda Jazz with a CVT. Uh Shingo but in black. There we go. Shingo. Uh EK9, Civic Type R, EP3, Civic Type R, CRX, the BB4, Prelude, and Integra, DC2 in Integra Type R, DC5 Integra Type R, Honda Accord Euro R, the older one, uh the Honda Accord Euro R, the, the bit the new a bit newer one. <laughs> The, a bit new, okay, a bit new. And the S2000. I think this is the wait. It's an AP1. Huh. I thought this was. I thought this this was the AP2. This game came out in 2005. Wasn't the AP2 from? No. I know that the S2000 ceased production in 2009, if I remember correctly. Yeah, in 2009. Which is a shame because, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's an AP. Okay! I know it. Okay, I know it's an S2000. I'm not a Honda. Uh, I'm, I'm not a Honda uh, connoisseur or something like that, and so I don't know the. Chassis code, uh, all the chassis codes and all that, and all the things with the facelift, free facelift, uh, whatever. So let's say, just just say this is a just a thousand, which it is. Uh, this is an NSX Type R. I know for a fact that this is an NA1 because it doesn't have uh, fixed headlights. It has the pop-up headlights, and this is a Type R. The only NSX that you can buy in this game is a Type R. Nice. Uh, this is the NA2 uh, Honda NSX Type R because it has the fixed headlights. And okay, this is a Honda Beat Mazda. Uh, Mazda is it one? A Mazda two, which is apparently, which apparently is a Fiesta in disguise. But let's just call it a Focus. No, okay, call it a Fiesta in disguise. A Mazda three, which is a Mark II Focus in disguise. Mazda 323, which is a car, another car that's named GTR, but it's not the GTR. An MX-5 Braze B DNA with its fully, almost rusty body shell. The NB, which is often overlooked because uh, it's not an NA, uh, it's not an N NC or an ND to be newer. Uh, it's not an NA, it's an NB. The NB is overlooked, I don't know why. I mean, it, in my eyes, and in my opinion, this car is overlooked. And look at this. Okay, this is the mass speed uh, NB. Uh, this thing has a turbocharger, and it should have had 180 horsepower. But let's, yeah, whatever. Uh, and uh, uh, an NB, but it's a fastback NB. It's a hardtop, and not a hardtop as in. The, hard, the short heart of a coupe. Nice. A Mazda 6, which is, let's just say it's a Mondeo. It looks like a Mond. I mean, it kind of is because Mazda and Ford had something. Uh, I don't know. Mazda and Ford were together for some time, then they, unbro they broke up, and yeah. This is the result of their fusion. Not fusion, actually, love relationship. Let's just call it that. <laughs> and then we have the FC, the Oske Wannabe. <clears throat> and we have the. Oh, no, this is the Oske Wannabe, but. Wait. 
There we go. Video scheme wannabe. Then we have the FD. This is it's not in yellow. Where is the yellow color? Where is the yellow? It's supposed to be yellow. Okay, this is the spirit R. Okay, this is supposed to be the spirit R. So yeah, there we go. Spirit R. And the RX8. Another overlooked car, in my opinion. Where is the No. This is wait, is this white? No, this is the white. Yeah, this one. This very light gray that looks like white. Looks like as if this car was painted white, but no, it's not white. Uh, Mitsubishi. A cold. Uh, I think it, this is the second car with a CVT in this game, with a real automatic transmission. The Mirage, which could be a contender for the most powerful sort of car in the game. Uh, the same thing, but lighter and more expensive. Which is, okay, this is... Uh, this is a weird approach. You stripped the car. Uh, you stripped the car, okay? So you de you don't have any more unnecessary weight, but you still you'll still charge me for things that you ripped out of the car. I mean, you're basically charging me for nothing. This thing, I I could do this thing on my own. Okay, I could take out the seats or the or the insulation or something or the spare tire or the air conditioning unit. I could do this thing on my own. Okay, why why should you charge more for a car that is lighter? Just because it's track focused or the special edition doesn't mean you have to charge a lot of money. Okay, whatever. Car manufacturers and their money making schemes. Ugh. Oh, this is a Mitsubishi Mirage, blah blah blah, too sexy. Look at this. It's not a turbocharged, but 175 stock, it's pretty good. We have the FDO, another overlooked car. Yeah, everyone knows about the GTO being heavy and whatnot, and yeah. I mean, even the GTO is overlooked because eh, it's not a Skyline, it's not a Super, it's not an RX-7, it's not an NSX. I mean, even the NSX is, o is overlooked. The amount of fanboyism that the Super and the GTR have is too much. I mean, there is a reason why they're, they're fanboy, but please, look at other cars. Or, you know what? Look at other cars altogether. Not, not just JDM. Look at other cars. Look at Hyundai. <laughs> I don't know. Example that popped in my popped in my head. Okay, uh, just came in my head. Uh, okay, so this was the Galant. Mm, nice, nice car. 2.5. Uh, this is two liter. Galant. Okay, this is, this is the older Galant. Lancer Evo One. Lancer Revolution Two, which is basically the same car, but this one is nice. Team. This is Evo 2. This is Evo 3. I can't tell the difference for now. Then the Lancer Revolution 4. Then Lancer Revolution 5. Another car, Lancer Revolution 6, which is more of a facelift. But apparently, this Evo 6 is cheaper than an Evo 5. So, okay. And the Evo 7 is even cheaper. And it's stat wise, it, it is uh, heavier, but it's a bit more torquey. It has more torque. It, and then the Lancer Evo 8, which is the newest one, actually. I will show you later, it's not the newest one in the lot, but for a, uh, for a normal slash road car, it is the newest one. And this thing, that has more torque and is lighter. And it's more expensive, because of reasons. Uh, then the Eclipse, from Drive, nice, very nice, and the GTO. Yeah. Now we have Nissan, March 
R March G note or G uh, yes or G whatever uh, March of SR Bluebird triple SR <laughs> SSSR um, Pulsar GTIR a car that is not a GTR that has a Tesla but it's not the Tesla GTR nice the Pulsar VZ R and one this thing revs to a lot yes it likes and that this car likes high revs um the RZ1 twin cam type B uh, pig nose 180 for those of you who are in America you know this car is a 240 yeah yeah bro my 240 246 whatever uh I'm using yeah bro and th this thing why, why, why am I using this this is just like a stereotype of some sort huh okay uh, 180 type X which is actually a type wait this was supposed to be the type 2 right I don't know I know for okay this is the type X or maybe no this maybe it's no I know okay I know I know this is a type X but this is the last 180 ever manufactured so yeah this is an S13 with a C18 DET this is the S13 with a SR20 DET this is an S14 with it uh, actually it's a Zenki S14 case uh, we have case for Kings uh, that means it's a turbocharged model and then we have the Koki S13 with a arrow so it's Sylvia K's arrow and then we have the Sylvia spec R which is okay the Sylvia okay the S15 had two specs actually okay the two main specs the spec S and the spec R the spec S had the SR20 DE so natural aspirated blah 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 um, and maybe okay some of them had the arrow kit some of them did not have the arrow kit and then the spec r with the spec r is the sr20 dt big daddy turbocharged 250 horsepower with or without the arrow kit and autec or uh i think autec uh, did uh sylvia varieta with a uh, convertible s15 that thing had the sr20 de and that's it now DET for one-off cabriolets. Cabriolets. Actually, it was not an on-off, but it was a bit rare. It was rarer than a normal F S15. So we have a HP10 Primera, yeah, whatever. Then we have the HP12 because no HP11 in this game. I think it's just a facelift. Right. Uh, this Primera 20. Oh, this thing has 20 valves. Oh. A Laurel. Uh, another laurel apparently this one is newer supposed to be newer yeah uh, and this was is also new okay this is the newest one I think and I like the looks of these one that of this one I like it and a 31 sphere cruising if I remember correctly the sphere had the mechanic okay the mechanics of no actually the mechanical components of the Sephiro uh, were shared with the R32 Skyline hmm show on that and an R31 uh, another R31 this thing was a GTSR not a GTR a GTSR and then we have the GTST which is uh, Skyline that looks okay. This looks jacked or, or lifted or something. Uh, this thing is an R32. Okay, this is the Big Daddy R32 Skyline GTR V Spec 2 Understeer King, whatever. This is the GTS T. Let's just call it like that. But they want they want us to call this a Nissan Skyline GTS 25T. Uh, it's a GTS T. So basically, RB25 DET, uh, front engine rear wheel drive, R43. And then we have this thing, which is apparently. So, no, this thing is a pre facelift, and this is a facelift or the other way around. 
and then we have the R43 with a little okay this is a bit changed I mean look at the VIN number is BCNR it's not the BNR anymore I think this was just for the R43 because boom ER44 yes we have the Nissan Skyline 25 GT Turbo or the GTT and then the glorious video game master of the them all, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2 R44. Okay, as you can see, BN R44. And then this thing, which is supposed to be related to the R45, but at the same time it isn't. And uh, maybe this thing. So this is the closest you can you'll get to uh, R45 in this game maybe and then we have the Seja 260 RS which is the uh, GTR wagon blah 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 2.6 RB26 VTT whatever which is heavier than this thing which is more powerful uh, it's natural aspirated and yeah and some some guys fitted uh, an R45 front to this uh, personally eh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it, I mean, I like it, but at the same time, I do like my, my stage up front, I mean, look at this, it's, doesn't, it doesn't show it, it doesn't show, uh, I don't know, it doesn't shout, uh, oh, look at me, I'm a GTR wagon, <laughs> it doesn't draw attention, probably because I like slavers, oh, an R41, oh, sorry, a Z41, uh, this is the Nissan 300ZX for those of you in America or other markets where it was sold as a 300ZX and Japan was sold as a Nissan Fairlady Z H Z3 H Z31 I think so th this is a Fairlady Z uh, wait it was a okay Wanganbi okay it was a guy in Wanganbi uh, that drove a sweet Z31 oh ha uh, wait, I don't want to mix them up, I think Harada, and he blows his engine, I mean, that guy is, in some aspects, no, it's not, okay, is not, um, I was gonna say it's, it's the, it's Takumi of the Wanga Midnight, but no, it's Takumi of Wanga Midnight, no, because it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that much skill, but it did, it did battle Blackbird and it did win, boost off, but yeah. Nissan Fairly Z version S, which is a Z32, and Z33, Fairly Z version ST. Yeah, Z33. Okay. Uh, Subaru Vivio RXR. Subaru R2S, Subaru Impreza WRX STI, Subaru WRX STI version 2, Subaru, w Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 3, Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 4, Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 5, Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 6. No, it's not the Punta Mobile because you, in the manga world, its color was cool gray metallic. I think this one. Or this one. And in the anime was Sonic Blue Mika, if I remember correctly. And it was a Tudor one. And it was the version 6 Type R or Type RA whatever thing. And it had a special bumper that was taken straight from the parts catalog, the Subaru's parts catalog. Uh, this, and that particular car is owned by the created of Initial D slash M and MF Ghost. Uh, if you're not, if you don't know what I'm talking, about, who I'm talking about, it's Shichi Geno. Uh, yeah, the guy owns, okay, he owns a Panda scheme, a Panda 86, um, almost the same, if not the same, as Takumi Streno, and yeah, he owns a Impreza WX STA, just like Bunda. So yeah. Uh, I don't know if he owns them anymore. So this is the closest thing you'll get to the Buntamobile.
because it's two door but it's a 22b so it's not it's the closest you can get in looks i mean looks wise but this thing is uh yeah wide body front factory so yeah and it has 2.2 hence the name 22b and then we have the bug eye the blob eye uh the gf8 it's a gc8 but it's a wagon uh a bug eye wagon a blob eye wagon a forester a newer forester a legacy another legacy uh wait not this uh, this was Gramps brick four, the whole makeover. So this was the Mark One Gramps, <laughs> MC M's Gramps, Mighty Carmont's Gramps. Uh, not this one, not this one. This no, this is the Legacy Blitzen. That's for one. Hello, Legacy B4, and this is Super Gramps. Uh, but yeah, at Rebecca Engine. It's is needed, and I'll see how it's not the 1.8 liter one. Ugh. I don't like this one. Has a 2.7. Yeah. And the newer Alcyon, which is not new anymore, but yeah, get my point. Uh, Suzuki Carry, Suzuki Alto Works RSR or Tico, as I like to call it. Uh, an Alto Works RSZ VVT, uh, Case Board R. And I don't know why. Why are you doing? What are you doing here? <clears throat> Excuse me. A Suzuki Swift Sport. Hmm. A light, high revving, little fun car. And a cappuccino. Great car for passing. Not so great power wise. An IST. A Starlight Turbo S. A Starlight GT. A glow badge. A Starlight GT quad headlamps. I think. Solid glance of V or 5, a Vitz RS, Vitz! I like this car. 11 1500 SR, Iski Gold, he wants his car back. Friend 1500 SR, the same thing as the aforementioned 11, but it's with pop ups and it's not an A86, it's, it's an A85, Hachi Go, whatever, the free AV engine. This is a Zenki 11 GT Apex. Yeah, of course, this is the A86. Uh, an A86 Levin uh, Koki, uh, an A86 Trino Zenki, which is the car that the Takumi drove in initially, and Bunda drove it because Bunda owned the car, but he gave it to Takumi in four stage. Spoiler alert! Um, and this is a Trino Koki GTX 86. This is the A92 Levin A92 Trino. Both of these uh, started uh, the front wheel drive Toyota trend. Both of these have the 4AGZE, so they're turbocharged, not they're uh, supercharged, not turbocharged. As you can see from the letter, from the lettering, it says supercharger on them. Okay, and then the e AE111 or 111. These uh, both these have the 20 valve for AG and living at Treno Treno. Uh, yeah, no more pop up headlights for the Treno. So sad. And uh, the Toyota Silica GT4 looks like a bar, or a bar of soap. Why? I don't know why. Or Coke bottle styling, whatever. This thing with the. Okay, this thing has a sweet body kit. We all know about that body kit, the meme body kit. Yeah, that's right. The SCT05, uh, ZZT231, Silica. So, oh, uh, I like somebody. Uh, okay, this is a quote from the internet. I think it's one of regular car, vi regular car reviews videos about the Silica. It was a POV drive. Uh, the owner of a Silica said that. This is the fastest Corolla you level drive. Well, it, it's okay. So, 
which um, actually it is kind of true because this is still a front wheel drive a uh, car that is okay it's not based on the Corolla chassis because as you can see okay Corolla ch okay the Toyota ch uh, chassis codes are like this ZZ denotes the engine so that means it, it has a 1ZZ or a 2ZZ engine uh, this thing has a 2ZZ engine because it has the 190 horsepower uh, it has 190 horsepower so this is a 2ZZ GE uh, this and the Toyota Corolla the E12 Corolla T-Sport and Rang the Arthur and whatever. These were the only cars that featured this engine. Yeah, only two cars. And this engine was, the, let's just call it the response to Honda's VTEC because this engine featured VVTLI. So variable timing and lift and with intelligence something. So yeah, it had lift. Just like VTEC. Just variable way of lift and timing in one system okay so so Z, so zz denotes the engine t denotes the chassis uh, in this case it's silica e for corolla and you get my point two three one um, i think the trim level and the things uh, two three one i think it's something with front wheel drive rear wheel drive or all wheel drive uh, if it's turbocharger, no, if it's turbocharger, supercharger, type of thing, and the trim, or the what trim it has on, or what options, something. I, okay, this is for short. Uh, it's, okay, so this is a Caldina. Yeah, you don't see these outside of Japan. Maybe in Russia. Some, some are in Russia or in New Zealand. Mm. This is a Neymar 2G supercharger, or basically an aid, uh, I don't know, Kwan Lee's, <laughs> Kian Lee's wet rim. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Uh, Toyota MR2 GT, which is an SW20. And this thing is turbocharged, MR, snap over steer intensifies. And this thing, this is W30. This was supposed to have the 2ZZGE in it. But it doesn't. It has the one ZZ, the same engine that powers the American version of the Toyota Corolla. Because in Europe we don't get the 1.8, we get 1.4, mm, the 1.6, uh, the 1.8 T Sport. Yes, we get that thing. America gets that thing, but hamper. But the, that engine is a bit on a bit down on power. 160 horsepower versus 180 to 190 to horsepower from the rest of the world. So yeah, America never gets the good things. Almost never. I mean, they do. They still have their muscle cars and whatnot. And Europe doesn't have because we don't have wide enough roads and whatever. Okay, another thing. Um, as you can see, you, we have okay. Uh, let's use okay. See, so the AW11, okay, chassis, chassis, okay, Toyota chassis code explain part two. A denotes the engine. In this case, it's the 4A GE, or okay, in this particular case, it's the 4A GZE. W is for the MR2 chassis code. Is W stands for MR2. Uh, actually, we have an AW10, which is. Um, okay, so the AW, we have an AW10, which is the poverty spec, lower spec, or the lower spec MR2. Uh, that is an AW10. We, or actually, that's a preface. I think it's a poverty spec. Whatever. And we have the AW11. Uh, so 11, yeah. And that one at the end, maybe it's for. It, it's not for the supercharger. I think they... No! The one at the end is for the market. I mean, if it was sold in America, I had... 
it was the AW15, let's say. Okay, SW20, maybe it wasn't for displacement, no, because it had to be the 16 or something. Okay, SW20, mm, S for the engine, because this thing has the, is powered by the free S GTE, in this case, because it's a turbocharged one. No supercharged for NAS. Uh, w stands for the MR2. Uh, 2, I don't know, for what, whatever. And 0, maybe for the market. ZZ W30, the same thing. ZZ, or ZZ for the engine. 1 ZZ FE this time, because no variable valve timing and lift for us. W stands for. Oh no! First, second, and third generation! Oh, the 3 stands for generation! I think. I think. And zero stands for the market. Yeah. And we we have yeah. Another ZZ ZZW30 or ZZW30, but this thing is made by Zagato. Eh, different body. Not entirely, but okay. A Toyota Altenza RS200. You don't see these outside of Japan because this is a special version 3SG beams, 3SGE powered Altenza. Okay, for those of you who don't know what the Alteza is, it's basically a Lexus IS200 or IS300, depending on where you are. But yeah, Japan knows this thing as the Toyota Alteza, and then as the Lexus IS200-300, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, uh, this is a four-cylinder engine instead of a six-cylinder, as if the IS200. So this is, outside of Japan, this is almost non-existent. Almost. You can pretty much import it or whatever. The Mark II, the Mark II Tourer V or 5, the Mark II IRV, the Chaser Tourer V. Okay, the Mark II, the Chaser, and the Verosa, all of these have the same engine. Oh, no, actually, these are named the Ford or Supras. Why? Because they share the same engine with the Supras of their time. That means this thing has the one. G this thing features the one JZ engine, just just like a JZA70 Supra Mark III. This is the Mark III Supra, overlooked. Why? Because this thing came out mm, the big and powerful GT fat butt GZA80 Supra. This thing with its highly tunable 2JZ GTE with its twin sequential turbos and it's smooth, GT-esque body style, mm, whatever, it's still fat. And this thing, okay, so, Alfa Romeo, yes, we have European manufacturers in this game, it's not the only game with the European manufacturers, the, the, okay, Kaido Battle 2 Chain Reaction had, I think it had the most European no, uh, the most foreign car manufacturers in the entire series. Okay, Japanese release had Lotus, the Tommaso, and all the good stuff, but Europe, but the European release, eh, not so much. Japan always gets, gets the good things. Not always, but eh, you get my point. Alfa Romeo 155 or 155 Q4 Quattro. Valvole or Quattro something? No, Quadrofoglio. I think this is a Giulia Quadrofoglio of the past. The Alfa Romeo 156 or 156, 156 GTA. An Alfa Romeo Alpha Cross Wagon. Okay. And that's it for the Alfa Romeo. Audi. With its Okay, being a European car, the VIN is weird. Like any other European car. It's not a Japanese car. You, you can refer to a Japanese car. Like for example, AFD, FC, NA, AE, 86, or whatever. You can refer it from... You can... You just say its engine... Its 
has a code and everyone knows about it, but no! You can't say, oh, I saw an 8LBAMF on the street today. What's that? An Audi S3. You what? Just say, oh, just saw sick Audi! What Audi? S3? Oh, mate, that's nice! So this is the Audi S3. Or this thing. Oh, I just saw an ADAZBRF on the street today. I mean, what? Until you say that, the, the guy will say, what? An AMF? What? Mate, what? Just say, the, just say the name already. It's an RS4. Oh, Avant. Oh. Yeah, nice. Nice. So this is an RS4 Avant. Mm, this is an RS6. The, the most powerful car in the game. Uh, and the fat, fattest car in the game. 1,910 kilograms, apparently. An Audi TT Coupe 3.2 quad, quad row, and that's it. So we have Audi and Fiat. We have the Fiat Coupe, uh, the little bar thing, and the special Punto Rally. We have Opel, uh, we have the Opel Speedster, and the Corsa 1600. Again, another special car. You will see it later. So this is the Opel Speedster, um, aka a Lotus Elise, aka a uh, Pontiac Sunfire. No, not the Sunfire, uh, Pontiac Solstice, sorry. AKA Saturn Sky. AKA, I don't know, a uh, Vauxhall VX220. This thing can be turbocharged or natural aspirated. Peugeot. Peugeot 205 Turbo 16. No 206 in this game. No 206. Then we have the Renault 5 Turbo 2, which. Features the almighty Cleon Fonte 1.4 liter, liter engine. This engine is also featured on, in the Dacia 1310 line. So Dacia powder for this thing, but it's turbocharged. Meh. And then we have the Renault Renault Clio V6 clutch for valve. Nice. And Volkswagen. We have the most powerful Golf up to date. Actually, the most powerful Golf to date, uh, the Golf R32, because this thing is more powerful than a GTI, but the GTI gets all the credit because it's a GTI. Eh, whatever. And this is the new Beetle R size, so it's basically this thing, but trapped in a Beetle body. This is supposed to be an aggressive, a more aggressive Beetle. But the Beetle was always a girl's car. I mean, the new Beetle was always a girl's car. The old Beetle, uh, hippies and whatnot. Or Herbie. Meh. And then we have the special cars. So apparently I unlocked the Redux Supra. Nice. So this is the Redux Supra. The Knob Sylvia or No One Better. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Knob Sylvia. I'm ERX7. Yep. Fujisobo Lancer, Fujisobo Impreza, or, or Impreza. No, it is Impreza. I will say Impreza because Impreza sounds like a pretzel and sounds weird. 5 Zigen or 5 Zigen Integra, and no, Blitz, Nomura Skyline. I like this car because it's an ER44, it's a four door Skyline. I don't care. This thing could have. This thing. I don't know. I don't care if it doesn't have the almighty GTR powertrain and whatever. This thing could have a 2 liter, because let's be honest, a 2 liter needs to be in this car. And apparently it is. Uh, not in this particular car, because this is a drift car and D1, whatever. So these are all D1 cars. And then we have Yoshio Kalevin. Uh, these cars are from the D1 series. The 2004 or 2005 uh, D1 series, D1 GP series. I don't know. So these are D1 cars. Okay, this is supposed to be 11, but I think the front was swapped with a Treno front because Treno equals pop up headlights, 11 equals fixed headlights, and the little cool grill. And then we have the Utsumi RX7. 
Hayashi da Silvia, Izumi da Fairly Z, Lancer TG TGM, and then we have uh, Lancer Revolution 9 SP. Finally, we have an Evo 9. So, this is the newest Evo in this game. So, this game has the most amount of Evos. Yeah, this game has the most amount of Evos. So we have the Evo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The only Evo that's missing is the Evo 10. And in 2005-2006, the Evo 10 did not exist. I think it, is, it existed as a concept. Uh, concept X and Concept Sport back, but yeah, this game has all, almost all the Evos. Nice. And then we have, oh, we do have a 206, but it's the S2000 version. Okay, actually, it's the version 2000, because you can't say S2000, because it's whatever, Hyundai 2000 mix. So this is a Rally Peugeot. And then we have the four-wheel drive Starion. And then we have Opel Corsa, Super 1600. And then we have a Clio 1600. And then we have a... Suzuki Ignis 1600 and we have this thing the Mercedes-Benz 190e Evolution 2 and the Mercedes-Benz 190e Evolution 1 I like the Evolution 1 more because it doesn't have the crazy body kit and in your face kind of looks as like the Evo 2 has as Evo 2. so yeah so these are all the cars for the game and oh look a one hour video. Nice. End game and Guanquist mode. Yes, finally. Save. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, bonus video. End. In 5, 4, 3, 2, one goodbye. Oi, 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 oi. <sighs> okay, goodbye. I'll see you in the next series if I will ever do another one. But for now, yeah, goodbye and thank you for watching.